Hello, this is Ellis from VisionAid International and I'm just going to give you a very quick run through on the uh, alpha version of the latest Readit software running with the Scholar camera, uh, the new Scholar HD camera uh, which as the name suggests is now full HD uh, live image quality at, at 60 frames per second. Um, but I'm going to start with, we've got the Readit software running here with the camera pointing down at the desk. Um, we're going to start with one of the Scholar HD's major advantages and that is its ability to photograph an A3 size document. Um, this is an A4 document under here. So we've got a whole tabloid newspaper sized page here. Um, all we do is line it up on the final unit with the base there will be positioning guides for blind users for both A3 and A4 size document markers or, or letter and double letter size for the US. Um, all we do as same as on the old Read It software, push enter. Capturing. Then gives you the full area that we're going to photograph. Has the same motion detection built in. Snaps a picture. The images now on this are much, much larger. They're um, 16 megapixel images. So they do take a little bit longer to process, but you'll see, hopefully from the results of this, that it's, it's pretty impressive accuracy and the speed is still good. Here we are. So it's now OCR'd the entire A3 page on here. Um, we've got a topical Wimbledon newspaper part on there. Um, some of the Brits still doing quite well in Wimbledon, although um, one of the ladies has just gone out. Um, but we've got the same views on here, so we can zoom in on the original image view to get an idea of what the image quality is like. And it's the same as on with the wand camera. When you zoom in a long way, you're going to lose some image quality. But we've got our overlay okay. view which then replaces the uh, recognized text with an actual font, which then makes it perfectly clear. You have your large customizable cursor, simply kick, click on a word. Andy Murray had an almost flawless first week, but there is one area in which the new two seed can improve. He's made a slight mistake on there, but if Image. we look at it, there's a crease running down the page, which probably explains why that's happened. If I look at the actual newspaper page, there's quite a big crease in it. That probably wasn't an ideal thing to do, but that is important for newspaper pages when people are going to be photographing them on here. Um, large crease marks will affect the OCR accuracy, because newspaper print is one of the worst quality prints you can have, and it's also obviously very small. Um, let's just zoom out of here and go somewhere else. We've got an overview mode, so we can look at something else down here. Click back on on this bit. Click on a word. She's serving up a tray. What a great comeback for the girl I call change the view. Overlay. Off to Watson to beat Marina Aero Cup on Saturday. A real key to Laura's success so far this week has been Let's touching zoom in a bit. double faulting problem. The technical issue. Then we've got all the standard column. reformatted modes as well, so we can reformat into column, horizontal, horizontal, vertical, vertical view. Word. and a single word. So oh. all the main features of the Readit software are the same, but now with this camera, the Scholar HD camera, you get A3 OCR capability. Um, very, very good accuracy. Um, okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is actually um, show you how good the camera is in terms of being able to recognize small, very, well, really, really small text. Um, on a standard uh, wand camera or another standard document capturing system, you'll only really get down to six point text with any degree of accuracy when you're photographing an A4 area. Um, but because of the uh, the optics and the actual high, really high resolution sensor on this camera, we can actually um, get down to smaller text sizes than that. Um, so this is just a live view running in color um, at full uh, at A3 width. So that's why the, uh, the text is, the document is so small on there. And uh, what I'm gonna do is zoom in to an A4 width on there, and then capture. initialize capture. So we can position the page on there. Got the motion detection, it's just snapped the picture, so it's now going to recognize. Recognizing. There it goes. Now, if Perfect. I sw switch overlay. to the overlay view and zoom out a little bit. I'll put it to image, image view actually and then scroll down. So this is 12 point text which is obviously standard printed letter size which is going to be perfectly sharp on this. Coming down now to 8 point which is uh, can get a little bit tricky for some systems. 7 point here is still nice and sharp. 6 point as well which is that's normally the limit of uh, other systems. That's a 5 point here which isn't looking brilliant but as we zoom in it's still perfectly legible um, by human eye. Uh, and then we come down to 4 point which is actually, well it's tiny. Um, um, really, really small text, which it doesn't look brilliant here, 
but with the advanced OCR we've got, hopefully, when I put it into overlay, overlay view, you see it's actually got it pretty what much perfectly. Ken Lynch was never the best on screen Milkman. Not after Robin Askwill's performance in the classic ITV comedy Bottle Boys. SMA. So image. it's not a hundred percent perfect at, at four point text, um, but it's very rare for you to get something that size uh, printed on a full A4 page, but it just goes to show that the power of the, the camera, that it, even at A4 page size, it will recognize four point text. So don't forget you have a 21 times optical zoom with this camera, so you can zoom in on a small object as far as you like, and then OCR it, so effectively any printed text uh, that's, that's legible by a, by a human will be perfectly legible with this. Okay, so what I want to show here is the uh, the live image quality of the uh, Scholar HD. Um, so I've got a document here. It's actually from CSUN exhibition that we do every year over in San Diego. It's one of the uh, material handling agreements when we have our, all our equipment shipped back from our stand. Um, but the reason I picked this document is it's actually a carbon copy. Um, there's some handwritten text on there, with, uh, which is carbon copy, which is they're normally very, very difficult for CCTV systems to pick up. Um, that carbon copy, especially when you go into two color modes, um, but we've got um, some pretty impressive two color mode uh, modes on the ReadIt software, which um, means that they're not really an, really an issue. So as I move the document around, you can see it's on a full page width. Um, the performance may not be quite as smooth on the video that's recording on here because it's um, it's using up some of the processing power on on the laptop to actually record this video. Um, but this is full page width. It's nice and sharp. Perfectly legible for a user that doesn't need much magnification on here. I can put it into two color. Enhanced grayscale. You can see it's, it cleans it up really nicely. Um, it's my signature on there. Um, and there's some sections just here um, with the uh, figures, black pull ups written on there, the number, uh, which is quite, it's really faint actually on there. It's actually still trying to pull that out. Uh, what I'm going to do is zoom in on that section on there. Yeah. And then we can adjust the two color filter. So you can see I'm bringing that out now, just using the plus and minus keys on the keyboard. And you can adjust this to whatever you like to even pull out hardly legible um, faint t pencil writing or this or carbon copy as this is. We've got some more information down on the bottom of the sheet on here. Phone numbers. If I put it back to color. Color. Um, actually, the, the color image on that looks pretty good, but it's, it's very, very faint on here. Um, so it comes out really, really well. Um, nice thing is, just I'll just put that back there, normal text, is how smooth the frame rate is on here um, and how sharp the image is because it's running at 1280 by 720 resolution on here. Um, it really is a sharp, good image. It's significantly better than a standard definition laptop camera. OK, so now I'm just going to very quickly demonstrate uh, handwriting underneath the Scholar HD. Uh, and again, because the uh, the two color filters are so good at picking out even faint print on uh, faint on, on colored backgrounds as well, um, I'm going to show it using a pencil uh, and just then demonstrate the different forces um, as I press on the pencil and show it still coming out, hopefully, in uh, two color. So I'm going to zoom in a, a bit further here to simulate writing, um, obviously, for a low vision user. Right, so this is me pressing, actually, just refocus that one there. There we go. Obviously, writing with a with a CCTV does take a bit of getting used to because you're looking at the screen rather than looking at the the, uh, the actual writing as you're doing it. Um, I've got what I've said now that I'm talking. Okay, so that's a line with normal. Excuse my handwriting; it's I don't write very much anymore. That's me pressing at normal normal pressure. What I'm going to try and do now is write as faintly as I possibly can, just so that something comes out from the pencil. So um, I'm not putting any pressure on there at all now. I'm left-handed as well, so that doesn't necessarily help you see what I'm, what's happening. So that's pretty faint on there in comparison to normal pencil on there. 
Um, zoom out slightly on that. Now, to put it into two color, we can do it from the toolbar, but it's just the letter C. So it's still bringing it out pretty nicely on there, as we can see on that. But forget, we can adjust it with the plus and minus. So even though it's as faint a text as you would possibly sort of ever get um, from a system like this, the two color mode does bring it out. We can switch the colors around. White on black. And we have to adjust the threshold level on there slightly for the inverse. But it's still bringing it out quite nicely. Most CCTV systems just wouldn't see that at all. It would just be background color. Um, so that works really nicely as well. Okay, so now what I'm going to show is one of the Scholar HD's other key advantages, and that's its HD uh, distance viewing, um, together with its sort of party trick, which is its, uh, the ability to OCR um, documents at the distance in the distance as well, uh, which the only other product capable of that was the predecessor to this, which was the, uh, the Scholar. Um, but this obviously now has even better optics and high resolution, so the results are even more impressive. Uh, so what I'll do is lift the camera up to look in the distance and I'm afraid the stand on this isn't um, production yet, the one I'm using, um, so it's, uh, I actually have to angle it and hold the stand myself so it's going to have some wobble on it but that's where the image stabilization really comes in, in handy. Um, so it automatically detects when I lift the camera up that it's gone into distance mode and it remembers a set zoom level for that. Excuse the mess in the office. Um, over there I have a notice board which is, um, if I zoom all the way out, it's actually it's far too small for me to read myself at this distance. Um, but with the Scholar HD camera we can zoom in. Yeah, that's maximum zoom on there. Nice and clear on there. This is me holding the camera up and yet the image is still stable. So anybody walking around um, banging on the desk um, makes very little difference to the image quality on this, unlike all other distance video magnifiers, which are really badly affected by any vibrations at all. Um, this one, it filters a, most of that vibration out, uh, which is why I'm managing to hold the camera myself, and it's still appearing quite stable on the, table on the, on the screen. Enhanced grace Two color modes on there. On black on so it's a really sharp black. image, even though this is further away than a human being with 20-20 vision can actually read. Um, it's still perfectly clear. Um, but let's zoom out a little bit, I'm going to put back into colour, zoom out slightly, so we can get the whole thing in view. Um, I'm now just going to hit enter to take a picture. Capturing. I can zoom in a little bit more actually on there. So this is quite an extreme test, it's at quite an angle as well for it. Capturing. Capturing. There it goes. Now it's sent the image. I can put the camera down now. Recognizing. It's doing its 3D perspective correction on it. Available June 2000. And it's reading it. So if I go into overlay, overlay view, okay, it hasn't done an absolutely perfect job, um, but it's pretty impressive image. on there in terms of the, the recognition overlay. accuracy. So you can you have all the same features on a distance document as you do uh, with a with a close up one. Just plug the light wave cap. Click on a on a word and it starts reading to you. Um, image. We've got all the zooming in. We can still put this image into two enhance color as well scale. to enhance it. F capable of capturing M size documents down to six points text size. There we go. Uh, and the image quality would have been much, much better had my shaky hand not been the thing actually holding the camera up looking into the distance. Image. Um, so, image. yeah, that's the distance viewing uh, section shown. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. And that's pretty much it. Um, except for one more document which I'm going to do in a second which will be the, a multi, multilingual test document uh, which is not any different to the previous version um, but just to show the, uh, the multi-language capabilities of the Reddit software as well. Okay, just before I uh, show the multilingual uh, capabilities of the Reddit software um, I'm going to give a quick demonstration of uh, capturing a book. So here we have a standard uh, novel by Dan Brown um, and normally if you wanted to capture you'd hold the book down um, and initialize capture and it would capture the page so you can read it but I'm going to just demonstrate some of the uh, page straightening capabilities on here so firstly I'm angling the book round secondly I'm now going to I'm bending the pages up on the book to sort of quite an extreme amount so as long as the text is visible on there which should just about do they really are um, sort of extremely bent on there 
I've got some text on the previous page visible as well, so that might confuse it slightly. Um, still recognizing. recognizing. Obviously, this will slow recognition down. I don't recommend you do this normally, but it's just for a demonstration. So, some of those words it's recognized incorrectly, as, but then they're Image. not whole words. Um, but the main part of the text here, you can see just how much it's straightened each page on here, so that the text is then perfectly flat. And note as well, even the text right into the spine um, is focused well. And this book does have text going very, very close to the spine. Most books give, leave a bit more of a gap. So it's a very tricky one to do that with. Um, if we put it onto the overlay view, you can see it's even, even recognizing the words right into the spine on here. Um, so again, we can just click on a word. It will start reading to us. We can reformat it. Um, so it, it's pretty powerful on uh, well, any any documents you want to give it, but it's it's nice on books. So you don't have to worry about breaking the spine of a book to get it flat on this system. Um, it's the same on the on the wand camera as well. Um, but this one, um, if if anything, because of the camera being even better, will give even better results. Um, what I'm going to do though is jump back to camera mode. Uh, I'm going to put a a trusty multilingual document underneath there. Just hit enter on it. Uh, there we are. So this has got French, German, and uh, English text on it. I've got the uh, Read It software set to uh, recognize those languages. It's turned on in the options. Multi -language there we go. Test so it's document. now reading it out loud. Let's put it back overlay. to overlay. So it's got the, uh, the document on there. The first bit was actually about last year's Wimbledon, I think, on there. And then we go into some... Uh, from English into French, so if I leave it reading They're English. Just willing to be as many as before. Le défenseur des droits s'interroge sur l'accessibilité aux cantines scolaires. As you can hear, it's automatically then gone into French, um, and then if we get to the end of the, the French text down here. Service public de la cantine. Größer, heller, breiter, sie wollen max. And now we're in German. So um, again, that for for users that are multilingual or are studying a language, um, then the Read It software with the automatic language detection capability on it is really, really useful. Um, so that's just about wraps up the quick, very quick demonstration of the uh, the new, well, some of the new Scholar HD functions and um, some of the key features on the Read It software. Um, but the the final version uh, is planned to be released in August. Um, so not too far away now. And um, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please contact your uh, distributor, your local distributor for VisionAid International Products, or um, please email us directly at sales at visionaid.com. Thanks for listening and watching.